What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com. So in today's video, we're gonna talk about how we can use arcs and curves as guide points for modeling in SketchUp. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so one of the things that a lot of people don't know about in SketchUp is you actually have the ability to set the number of points that are in a curve. And so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna create a box really quick. And we're just gonna say this is maybe a six foot by 12 foot. Box. And so what I want to do is I want to create a bookshelf that curves along an edge right here with a certain number of shelves, right? And so what I want to do is I want to start by drawing an arc using the arc tool. And so I can use the arc tool in order to set the base of this shape right here, just like this. And then I can set the bulge in order to set how wide this shelf or the shelves are going to be. And so what I've done is I've generated this shape in here and I'm gonna go ahead and use the eraser tool in order to erase this out. And so what I wanna do is I actually want to use this curve for two different things. One thing I wanna use it for is I wanna use it for um, an actual piece that's gonna be like a support of my shelf. But the other thing I wanna do is I wanna use it to set the number of of shelves that I have in here. So for example, I want this to be a bookshelf that has seven shelves in it. So what I can do, right, is remember that if you click on a curve in SketchUp or an arc, you can set the number of segments. And so like say I was to go very extreme, I could go into my segments in my entity info, and I could type in a value of three. Well notice how then you've got this circle in here, but it's only got three segments. Well, in this case, right, I want six shelves. So what I can do is I can set my number of segments to six, right? I want seven shelves, but I can set my segments to six, right? And so what that's gonna do is that's gonna give me a number of different points. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use these points as guides along this curve. Now, before I do this, I wanna make a copy of this object using the move tool off to the side. And we'll talk about that in a second. But for now, what I can do is I can tap the C key to activate the circle tool. And I'm gonna type in a value of 48, which is gonna be the number of sides because I want this to be a really smooth circle. And we're gonna go ahead and we're going to group this so that the geometry doesn't merge. But now if I come in here and I draw the circle, notice how I can use these points as guide points in here. So I can just inference off of them like this. Okay, and so now I've got all my different shelves and I can just use the push-pull tool in order to push-pull these up. I'm not sure what thickness these would be in the real world. I'm just gonna type in half an inch and I'm just going to, with the push-pull tool active, after I've push-pulled these once, I can just double click in order to extrude all of these to half an inch like this. But then I'm just gonna take that whole group, I'm gonna do a shift click to deselect this, and I'm gonna make this whole thing a group. So now I've got my shelves. Now, the one thing I wanna do before I move these over is these are going to be my vertical supports, right? Well, for this one, I can click on this arc and I can add more segments. So I'm gonna type in 48 right here with this active. Well, what that's gonna do is that's gonna create a very smooth curve. And so that's gonna look a lot better. Well, now I can take this whole thing, right? And I'm gonna move this over. I wanna find the central point right here. I just wanna align that with the central point over here. One thing that might be helpful is toggling X-ray mode on so that you can actually find that. And so we're just gonna align our midpoint right here. We'll toggle that X-ray mode back off, but now I can push pull this to a thickness of a half inch, or if you wanna keep it centered, what you might do is you might push pull it a quarter inch this way and a quarter inch this way, just so it's centered. But then you can just take this whole thing and triple click on it. You can make it a component and we're just gonna call this support. We're gonna jump into x-ray mode right here and I'm just gonna use the rotate tool in copy mode to create copies of this, right? So I'm gonna find this point right here I'm gonna rotate this 45 degrees, but I wanna tap the control key in order to go to rotate mode. Then I can type in a value of 45, hit enter, and then I can type times and the number of copies I want, which in this case is eight. Well now, if we look at this, what we've got is we've got this shelf in here that we were able to model using the points of our arc as a guide point. 
All right, so that's where I'm in this video. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. If you knew about this, I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you do want to learn more about how to use SketchUp, make sure you check out my course at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.